What's up friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Google Forms no longer accepting responses, right? So if you have a Google Form and it's no longer accepting responses, then you want to go ahead and try these simple steps that I'm about to show you to try to fix the issue. Before we jump in guys, would you mind taking a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now, let's continue. Now, as you can see, I'm here in Google. Let me head over to those Google apps by clicking this Google icon here in the uppermost right hand side for apps. And let's find the Google Forms, right? So it's gonna be somewhere here, Google Forms, right? And here you can see I have some recent forms. So let's say this was your form that you're working on. One of these, doesn't matter, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one, let's say. And let's say this is your Google form that you no longer able to accept responses for. You wanna ensure that you go to responses tab at the top here, the middle option here. And you wanna ensure that accepting responses is checked or let's say turned on, right? So if it's off like that, that could be the reason why you're not receiving responses anymore. So you wanna ensure that this is toggled on, right? Another thing you wanna ensure that you have enough space on your drive. So go back, open a new tab there, and you wanna ensure that you go to your drive, right? So click on drive there. And on the left hand side, ensure that you have enough space, right? Because if it's full, that could be the reason why you're no longer receiving those responses. And of course, as you know, the file is stored on your drive, right? So if it's no longer responding and you're no longer getting responses, that could be that your drive is full. And most times you should receive emails from time to time informing you that your drive is full and you need to make some space or purchase new space, it is up to you. And as you can see, if you want to get more space, you can simply click get more storage and you can follow this instruction and pay for additional storage, choose whichever one you want, or you know, just go ahead and free up some space here. But you know guys, you know, most times these forms don't require a lot of space to receive responses unless you're receiving responses for a ton, like hundreds of thousands of different responses, then that could be the issue. But you know, these forms don't really require a lot of space to receive responses. But you know, there's additional trick that I would like to share with you that I found useful and that it was helping me to fix those issues when I encountered them. So let's say you have a form, right? This is your form when you're experiencing that issue. One of the tricks that I found that really helped to fix the issue is to make a copy of your form. Now, if you're in the form, you wanna go ahead and click the tree that's here in the uppermost right hand side and simply make a copy of that current form. So click make a copy and you wanna ensure that you select the appropriate place on the drive. So click on your drive and you want to choose whatever folder you want to work place, right? You can go ahead and use the basic one by simple choose like my drive, select that, click select, and you want to make a copy of that form. So you can go ahead and you can just do whatever you want. So you can name the file, whatever you want. The form, I'm gonna just write something. Let's put it in full, this form. And this is if you actually have space on your drive and you don't know where that what could possibly be wrong or if there's some glitch or something like that, then you wanna go ahead and make a test form. And once you do that, simply make a test and the new form will be opened and you want to go ahead and ensure that it's accepting responses, right? So go ahead and check these, go ahead and check your settings, ensure everything is okay, double check that and go ahead and test it. You can also go ahead and just make a basic form turn on responses and ensure that you're gonna just do a basic test to see if that's work. Because sometimes there are some glitches with the form, sometimes there any little issue could cause that your form not to be working, some settings get messed up somewhere. So you can easily go ahead and test just a basic form template to see if it will accept responses or not. And that's if you have space on your drive. And if it's working, then you just need to go ahead and just double check some settings to ensure that there is something is not off and that could be affect the reason why you're not accepting responses. Here you have it guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.